I am addicted to phone cases. I will admit that. First step to recovery is admitting you have a problem, but I will tell you I am nowhere near recovery. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be going through my phone case collection. I literally love having different phone cases on my phone, being able to swap them out and just um, kind of like pick a phone case that goes with my outfit. A lot of people think I'm crazy, but I love buying phone cases. I never, ever, ever walk around with no phone case on my phone because I'm too afraid that it'll crack. I do have a glass screen protector on here, but still. I've had my phone since the beginning of this year. I got it right before New Year's and I already have 12 phone cases for it. I don't even know where to begin. I have so many. I think I'm gonna start with my basic phone cases. The first one is a basic black phone case. I got it off of Amazon. I really like it. When I did purchase this phone case, I was in the mindset of I just want like a plain basic phone case. It's plastic, but it kind of has a, um, has a matte finish. The sides are not as bulky and protective as some would like, but it does cover the bottom. So I think overall it's a good case to have if you're looking for something basic. This is my next basic phone case. Um, it's black. Well, it's like a translucent black, translucent black color. I got this from Best Buy actually um, when I was looking for a phone case to go with a pop socket. In my opinion, not every phone case pairs well with a pop socket. It's protective. Like if I were going out and going on a hike, I'd definitely take this phone case with me because I feel like it will protect my phone if it falls. It's a thicker phone case and it has more protection, I feel like, in the bumper area. It's pretty cute, pretty sleek. My next basic phone case is this clear phone case. This was actually my very first phone case when I got the phone. I just ordered this one on Amazon. It's, it has like a boxy feel. It's not really round. It has these little notches at the bottom and it, it'll prevent it from hitting the camera. The only thing is, is that it is clear and it did yellow a bit. Um, so there's yellowing on the ends, on the sides. But overall, I really like this case. The next clear phone case is one I got from Walmart, actually. It's on the thicker side of things. It's more round. This one I previously showed you was like boxy and this one's round. But it is nice. It hasn't yellowed that much, but I also haven't used the phone case that much. I had some points at Verizon, so I bought this phone case. It's Kate Spade. If you're into brands, I'm not really into brands, but I just thought the phone case was cute. It kind of has like a classy feel. I like the stripes. With my phone being the um, silver phone, I think it just looks really nice. You can kind of see that there are scratches, um, a little bit of wear and tear. It's scratched pretty easily, um, but it is very thick around the edges. Good bumper protection for when you drop that phone. It's really feeling in the cheetah print mood. I don't really like getting the cheetah print mood, but I was feeling in the cheetah print mood. So I got these two phone cases off of Amazon. I never wear them, ever, ever, ever. So I'll probably give this to a friend who ends up upgrading their phone. The white looks good against the white. Um, it's like a plastic feel. They're pretty protective. I would say on the spectrum of protectiveness, I would say they're in the middle. Um, they're thin, but protective because they do have that bumper that goes all the way around. Every time I go to Target, I have to walk by the phone case section just to see if there's any sales, just to see if there's anything, you know, good. I always would pass by and see this phone case, but this phone case was like $20 and I was like, I'm not paying $20 for this phone case. I already have so many phone cases and I'm going to get a new phone soon. So like for months, I would just pass by it. Porker gave me this one when she got a new phone case for her new phone, but it's a nice texture and you can kind of feel the marble. Actually, you can like feel the marble, but it is pretty protective. It goes around all the edges. There is some wear and tear. It's starting to peel already, um, but I have used this phone case a lot. This is my Apple phone case. It's silicone. I had to get one. They're kind of a staple. I was really torn when it came to picking out the color, but I'm happy with the color that I got. It's more of like a blue like a mauve blue, but it looks purple on the camera. It doesn't have that bumper that comes all the way around. I have mixed feelings about silicone phone cases because I just feel like they stick to everything and they're hard to like put in the pocket because they just stick. So I don't use this phone case too much, but if I want a different color, um, I will put this phone case on because it's not like any of the other colors I have in my collection. My next two phone cases actually are from a website called Verga. I really like this website actually. I would definitely order for them, from them again, except they're like overseas, so it takes a long time to get to California. So I got these phone cases. It was like a buy one, get one, some kind of deal. And so I got these two phone cases. I really, really like them. They are thin, but the good news is, is that the website does offer an option to get a protective phone case. Um, so every style, every color comes in the option to have a snap case or a protective case. I chose to go with the snap cases this time because I really like thin cases that are sleek. So it just pops in like that, snaps in like that. It's not the most protective. I think they're cute enough to risk um, the fall. I really like how this one looks against the black. 
Um, it's marbly and it's really, it's just really, really, really cute. I really like these phone cases. I would recommend them. Last but not least, I have the phone case I actually found a pop socket for. Wildflower phone case. Uh, you can see the little emblem right there. I really do like this phone case a lot. I actually had this phone case for my last phone, the iPhone X, um, and I really liked it a lot. So I decided, you know, I'll make the investment. Wildflower cases are pretty expensive. I think they're about $30 or $35. I thought it was worth it. I really, really like the case. I like the pattern. I like the blue plaid. And it's really, really protective. It has a really thick rubber bumper. Um, so if you do drop your phone case, you will be sure to be protected. I've dropped my phone in this case a bunch of times. Was protected every time. Have the pop socket on here, which I don't know, I'm, go I'm torn. I'm going back and forth. I don't know if I want to keep the pop socket on. It gets in the way. Sometimes like when you're like bored, you can just pop it. So I'll probably keep it on. Actually, I might wear this case today. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, this was my whole entire collection thus far. We've, we're only seven months into having this phone. So I'm excited to see what happens in the months to come. I don't know what phone cases I will come across in the future. Um, I do think I want to get more of like a fun, bright phone case because a lot of my phone cases now are black, clear, neutral. So I think that I will go for maybe like a bold phone case. I don't know. I like to try different brands too. I would say a lot of good places to get phone cases are not Target. Well, Target can have deals sometimes, but PG Maxx and Marshalls are a good, good, good place to go look for a phone case. Um, they have a lot of good deals. They're usually much cheaper. Good brands. I've seen Kate Spade there for 15, 14, as opposed to like 30. Hopefully I was able to connect with other phone case lovers like me. Um, and if you're not a phone case lover, um, hopefully there was some good tips in there as to what phone cases you can get or you might look for when shopping around for one. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.